Hi there, it's Sandy, and I am carried away with drawing shadows. But before I get carried away, let me remind you, this is Studio Sale Week. Thank you to those who participated in part one. And now we get on to part two. The sale all week long left a few stragglers behind. So I am going to put those into grab bags. And they're on the site right now. They're linked down in the doobly-doo. And you can get a really screaming deal on a piece of artwork. You just won't know what the piece of artwork is until it arrives at your doorstep. But it'll be fun. And you get a good deal on a painting. And I get a good deal on getting real estate back in my drawers so I can save more artwork there. Because I'm out of space. But for today's small project, it is a speed drawing because you have stuff to do. It's Black Friday. And I want to get out of your hair quickly, but this drawing is one that I wanted to create to show you all the different types of shadows that are in a new class that just launched today. And I've shoved them all in one fashion or another into this drawing of a rabbit who is carried away by an umbrella. Get that? Carried away by shadows? Carried away by an umbrella? Okay, so I tried to be funny and cute. Nonetheless, the class is for all people who color in all different mediums. Like whatever you do that requires shading, this class is gonna be a good one for you, even if it's not drawn in your medium. It's done in graphite pencil. I did the whole class with one 4B pencil. And you could get a whole set of pencils, you can do other things I'm using in this particular drawing you're watching. I'm changing back and forth between a 3B for some light areas and a 7B for darks. But you can do the class in one pencil. I did it all in a 4B. And in that class, we're going to focus on the values, on darks to lights. and Where do the darks go? Where do the highlights go? And how do you make the decision on which direction the lighting comes? And how do you make a cast shadow that falls onto an object from from another part of the object. Like there's just lots of concepts about shading that I've talked about a gajillion times here on YouTube. And lots of people get lost in color. They start thinking about, okay, which colors do I use? And then how do you blend those? And oh wait, where did the shadow go? And it's just too much to think about at once when you're trying to learn to shade. So it's better to learn to shade when you're just dealing with one color. We're just getting value onto the paper. So that's why I want you to do it in graphite. If you choose to do this in your own medium, then I highly recommend just using grayscale because I don't want you to get lost in the color decisions and everything, just focus on black and white. So the 10 convincing shadows class I am hoping is gonna be one that is gonna to help to change your artwork in a really great way because once you learn how to do some super spectacular shadows, and do some things that make it look really convincing, your whole artwork seems convincing just because people notice that one thing. And they don't even know that they've noticed it. But it's one of those little touches that it's just intuitive to people to see that as realistic because they look at it around them all day long and they see those kinds of shadows. So I want you to learn how to do those so you can add one or two of them to each of your pieces and just level up. It's going to be awesome. All of my other classes, by the way, are also on sale because it's Black Friday. And that's what we do on Black Friday. Everything's on sale. The sale is going to decrease a little bit tomorrow and then decrease a little bit the day after and the day after until we get done with Cyber Tuesday, in which we go back to normal pricing on things until... Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. And people always yell at me that I'm a bad businesswoman for telling you this. But Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, I always put my classes on sale again because you might get a gift card or you might give a gift card and you get more mileage out of it if you're buying it when it's on sale. So tell your gift recipient to buy it on Christmas morning. Don't let it wait so that they get the best deal. Or if you get one, if Santa Claus gives you one, then you get a good deal. All right, so let's look at what's in the class so that you can know that you don't have to panic. There's images like a heart and a, an elephant 
a vase. Like there's some very simple shapes, but they're really important concepts to get down. There's some that you can embellish. You can add patterns onto the cat's fur and that sort of thing. You can keep them much simpler. Depends on what you want to do with your homework that you do. The printouts themselves, before you start doing your shading on them, look like this. You see those very light lines, you get to trace the image. Isn't that awesome? You don't have to learn how to draw these things. You just need to learn how to shade them. But I wanted to give you something that you could trace without having a heavy line on it so that you can create those really nice, soft highlights without having a big old black line around it. And it's going to make a big difference. So there are 10 lessons that I hope are going to really change how you think about shading and help you to get those concepts in black and white so that by the time you move back to color and start to then think about making your color decisions, you've already got this under your belt and it's going to make a lot of that go a lot smoother. Okay. Uh, links to everything are in the doobly-doo, including the other new class that just came out last week, and it's Bible journaling class. So if you're a Bible journaler, check out Stained Glass. And that's it. I'm going to stop talking now and let you go do your Black Friday stuff. I'll see you guys later. Take care. Bye.